everyone. It is now 1.30, so this is the 1.30 update. Um, we're not too far from Aurelia now, just on the uh, outskirts. We're sticking to the back roads. Uh, the GPS is actually giving me a better route than I did last year. Um, same thing, uneventful, everything's running well. Um, <laughs> it's funny, the gas mileage keeps going up on it. Um, I didn't see that last year like that. I'm kind of surprised. It started at 14, which was just my local driving. And then, you know, now that I've been on the highway, even with the ATV and the, um, the boat pulling behind it full of weight and everything, I just set it at cruise at 80 kilometers an hour and uh, let the tow button be on and let it do its job and uh, well it went up to about 15.5 but it's now down to 15.0 liters per hundred kilometers so that is pretty effing good um, really happy and the truck seems to be running way better she definitely needed a drive I'm learning one thing for sure is uh, I'm noticing the further west I get, the more idiots there are doing stupid shit. <laughs> Passing, man, like you wanna see some of the passes that have happened here. One guy just about clipped me on the side of my truck. He was that close. And I'm not one given to exaggerations, you know, I was a truck driver, so I can put up with quite a bit, but boy, I'll tell you, if I'd, uh, if I'd have seen him pull over at a store somewhere, I'd have strangled the motherfucker, risk our lives for that stupidity. Anyways, um, I think we're actually in Aurelia. <laughs> oh no, it's the town of Rathburn. Okay. And uh, so yeah, other than, uh, you know, it's warming up. Uh, still kind of cloudy, but now we're seeing, uh, I'm starting to see more, uh, more sun breaking through and stuff. And uh, <clears throat> like I said, it is warm up. It's going up to 21 Celsius. So we're definitely getting into the warm, uh, warmer area. You can tell the difference down here. It's definitely not as lush or like tropical like, like where I live. They're obviously not getting the rain like we're getting because uh, it doesn't look the same at all here. It's like I've left, a, it's like I left the Amazon rainforest to come out to where I like when it used to be at my place I anyway, mean that's fine I, I'm just like kind of wowed by the difference so now the lay of the land starts changing in this area too like you know we were kind of running along Canadian Shield there for a while now we're like into Niagara Escarpment so it's a little bit of different land for more farmy type stuff you know still a lot of bush and stuff but when you're getting on top of Aurelia and then, you know, going underneath uh, Georgian Bay, you're getting up in the Blue Mountains and stuff. So, um, it's different. I'm getting hungry. I'm hoping to find a Tim Hortons. I've been thinking about their smoked turkey sandwich would be just about the thing to put in my belly for now. I did something stupid. I, um... Got my bread and my buns. I left them in the cupboard at the trailer, so I'm gonna to have to tell Jeff to throw them in the freezer for me so they don't go bad. Anyways, I can pick some up in Sable Beach on my way through, because my plan was to make hamburgers on the new grill tonight, because I got that new grass, new gas grill. So that, uh, that'll be a good trial run for that. I guess I'll film that, hey, eh? you know, kind of like, what do they call box openings or, you know, I'll give my rating on it. 14,000 BTU, that should be enough for what I'm doing. Um, I could have brought my little smoker tube and actually smoked with it. It's, uh, I could get away with that on that thing. But anyway, I didn't, so that's that. But yeah, I'm enjoying the drive. I'm not tired or sore at all. Feeling pretty good. It's only 1.30 and we're already, uh, we're less than two hours away from uh, from Sable Beach. So we're making good time. You know, when people, before I would race to Sable Beach, like at 100 kilometers an hour and I'm going up Highway 7 and you know, and that's like 10 times worse than 401. That's like speed, being on speed and crack and I don't know, four other things that speed you up. This back way, 
everybody being like, yeah, it's slow and everything. But you know what? There's nobody here. Um, I'm, and I'm making better time doing it this way at 80 kilometers an hour without beating up the truck and my trailer and my boat and everything. Like, for real, man. Anyway. I will never go back to the old way of things like Highway 7. This this is what Highway 7 used to be like, like where we are now. Uh, it was like a narrower two-laner back road. Now Highway 7 has kind of gotten busier and bigger because there's more people living along 7 and stuff. Plus, you got to go through all those towns um, that, you know, because there's a lot bigger towns like my own town, Perth. You know, the closest bigger town, Perth, is on Highway 7 and it just keeps going right up the line, eh? So, <clears throat> no, this way is just so much better. Scenery's better, the pace. I mean, how can I absolutely, you know, be complaining about that? The truck's getting better. Oh, now we've just got 14.9 liters per 100 kilometers now. She just keeps getting better and better. <laughs> I may not even need to gas up until I get to Sabo Beach. I, I do gotta stop though, I need, I need a sandwich, so. Tim Hortons. There's got to be a Tim Hortons somewhere popping up. They're all over the goddamn place. I just haven't run across one yet. All right. Well, I'll let you guys go. Same deal. Please like, share, subscribe, and uh, I'll update in another hour.